This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Audible. J.J. Abrams graces us with his presence once again on the small screen with the TV mystery series Alcatraz. Welcome to the Totally Rad Show. We've got a great week for you. Today we are talking about the new one from Bad Robot, Alcatraz. New one by TV? You mean TV? By TV, yes. Bye by TV. Bye by TV. Please buy it. Yeah. And tomorrow we're talking about uh, a video game that we did not want to overlook from the end of last year called Trine 2. Mm, trying hard to not miss it. <laughs> 2. And then on Tuesday, <laughs> Pretty sure we're talking about comic books, right, guys? Yes, you indeed. Mean, we it are. is Wednesday. 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 Yes. I'm sorry. On Wednesday's Wednesday. comic book day. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're talking about two comic books, Fatal and The Activity. Very oh, nice. Uh, Thursday, we're back for movies. We're talking about Steven Soderbergh's Whoa. new. <laughs> Steven Soderbergh. <laughs> or Steven. Steven Soderbergh. He's Swedish. He's Swedish Steven Soderbergh. More, yeah. more, uh, more. Haywire, starring Gina Carano. Then Friday, we're wrapping things up with a game of Secret Identity. Yes, I almost kept secret from Jeff. <laughs> almost. <laughs> uh, but we want to thank, uh, I want to say Marina Vera Formega, Unsen. but Marina Unsen. Yeah, you can thank Vera Formega just I would for like being. to thank Vera Formega for all of the boobs and upper hair. <laughs> thank you, Vera Formega. And we'd like to thank Verena Unsen yes. for sending in this background. She's submitted backgrounds for us, to us before, and yep. we appreciate it. We love it. If you want to have your background on our mm. show, you should it's send impossible. it in. Oh, wait. No, it's no, possible. It's possible. Oh. Using the power of the interweb, it? send it to Isn't our that? email address, right. which is fans at totallyradshow.com, and you can find our logo, should you want to include it like mm. Verena did. Mm. Uh, in, her, in her, I think it's a Luther-inspired background. That's if you want you, to unsclude you. it. And... <laughs> You'll Verena it. I don't know. <laughs> Fans at totherancho.com. All right, cool. It's a, oh, it's a no, you find it at the Flickr page. It's a Lutheran background. <laughs> it's Lutheran. Cheers. Let's go. So we are back in TV. All of the fall uh, replacement or the uh, uh, mid-season replacements are starting to file in. One of them has been on our radar for a while as it's one of uh, Bad Robot's new shows on Fox, Alcatraz, uh, shares a couple similarities to Lost. One of the uh, creators was a writer on Lost and a producer on it's Lost. It's about an island. It's about an island. <laughs> it is a prison <laughs> island where stuff goes weird. Uh, and uh, Jorge, or Jorge, it is Jorge Rivera, or Garcia. What is his name? George. <laughs> yeah. Jorge no, I think it's Garcia. Jorge. Jorge no, Garcia. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyway, the guy Jorge from Garcia. Lost. Uh, and uh, um, Sam Neill is in the TV program. A lot of good, a lot of good stuff. <laughs> I like Sam Neill. Uh, so Daniel Trachtenberg, once bit, twice shy with the uh, Lost connection, or what did you think of? You love Elvis The Rock. Jazz? I love. I do love The Rock. I was thinking about that actually. Yeah, yeah me too. It's hard to deny. You know what else? Sidebar. Total sidebar, I apologize, but fascinating for our culture. I had a great cheese sandwich. I've never, I've never been to uh, Alcatraz. Never You've visited oh, yeah. as a tourist attraction. I've never done that. But I, when I'm watching the show, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the that, and that's the that. And I'm like, why is any of this familiar to me? Not because of Rock. Tony Hawk. One of the Tony Hawk oh, games. Wow. Interesting. That, those games. You know they're re-releasing those in HD. Awesome. They're yes. doing like a... I will pr purchase those. I love those yes. games. Those games recreated the locations so perfectly. Yep. Huh. I was. I mean, like, like I gr grinded that rail. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I, it was it was crazy. So that aside. That aside. What did you think about the dress? Uh, it's an interesting show. I mean, what I, what was fascinating to me was there were so many. Um, high concept mysteries that unfolded in this pilot episode mm. um, that any of them could have been mid-season, oh, he's that guy, oh, we're did it, if they mm -hmm. had started in a different place or started earlier or, you know? Um, and one wonders if it would have, I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I like the cat, everyone's likable. Um, I'm getting a vibe that you didn't really enjoy. No, I liked it. I just uh, yeah, wasn't, that's the vibe. Wasn't wasn't <laughs> super passionate. Um, uh, there, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's it's so. It's a little bit so crazy. I mean, it's great because I'm like, 
how is this going to, what is this, you know? How is this? But I kind of wish like, like there's a, at the, we only saw the first hour. And at the end of that first, right. at the end of that first hour, there's a crate like that. I don't. I'm like, I just. You're I speechless. Know, I'm speechless. Like the end of that first hour should it could have been the end of the first season. You know, we could have had a whole yeah. bunch of other. Well, but that's good, right? It's potentially good. Yeah. If if if, 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 if that's it. how they're rolling is like every episode is me crazy crazy crazy. Um, and I like that it's not being milked out, you know? I would have yeah. been bummed also. I mean, there were times when I watched Lost and, I been, and, and they were milking things out. Um, but I liked it. I guess I should listen. I was, maybe I should react how you what you guys think. Yeah. I'm, I'm it's like, it feels like we were just thinking about it for the first time yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, yeah, Jeff, what did you think of Alcatraz? Um, oh, well, uh, well, well. Um, <laughs> no, I was joking. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I didn't dislike anything in the show. And, 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 and very similar to you, I was waiting to be wowed. Hmm. And I often, at this point in my life, unlike my youth, mm -hmm. uh, I bristle now when I see the seriousness of series. I'm so enamored with hmm. serialized storytelling where it tells one story over multiple hours of television that when I start to see the setup for the kinds of shows that we all grew up with, yeah, where it's the procedural, not even no, not even procedural, but just episodic, just um, Monster of the Week, we call it, but even more like Knight Rider has a different case or A Team, like, who are they going to help out this week? Yeah, and shows have evolved to the point now where it's it, it's much more one story over the course of multiple hours. Where when I see a setup like. There's 300 missing people. Today we found one. Next week we're likely to find another. Mm -hmm. It, I just bristle at that a little bit, and, and I, it, I feel the, I feel the the conceit, and it just doesn't make me excited to watch that kind of show. I also, I I, I think it's funny how it, much it feels almost like a lost e kind of thing. Where, you know, like in the first five minutes we see the person get off the island and I kind of feel like there's a wink, wink, nudge, nudge to the audience of like, look, he got off the island really, really quick, yeah. you know? Nice. Um, but but it, there is some fun stuff here and I just, I found um, the, the professor character to be a little trite and contrived. Uh, how he's sort of at once... Is that once... Sam Neill or... No, no, no the, that's... Uh, uh, Jorge Garcia. Yeah, Jorge Garcia. Who's... I'm still not entirely certain that's his name. Is that yeah, it's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he, you know, he's at once brilliant and oddly obsessed with this very narrow bit of. But you know, there are people like that. Yeah. But then also sort of like a comic book geek, and it just it just seems like it's too many things that fit in one pot, you know. Uh, but I'll I'll give it that. Like I wasn't. I wasn't ever, I didn't ever lose my interest. I, I wasn't hmm. uninterested in what was happening. I just didn't find any spark of excitement and it did feel like, oh, okay. So there's, there is an over, it felt like Fringe a lot to me, hmm. which is a show that I have not continued to watch and people keep saying how great it has gotten. Yeah. But the reason I didn't continue to watch it is because I felt like, oh, we're going to get this sort of revolving door yeah. of tiny things with, yes, an overarching Would you, plot. Are but, you going to keep watching it? I doubt it. Are you gonna keep watching? There's it? just too many good things to watch. I'm watching. pretty compelled to, yeah. Yo, oh, you are compelled to. I it's mean, weird. You're, there's you're crazy. Talking like there's crazy things I'm, I'm that are like very, very being very mixed signals to me. Yes. Uh, well, I, I never. I said I liked it. And yes, I, yeah. that was. But I, ne I never got the vibe from you that you would wa keep I watching. I just didn't. It, like, I just didn't. I was like, oh my god, great, I, there's a lot of TV shows yeah. that we've watched recently yeah. that I was like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Um, no, I hear you. I will I say you. this to Bad Robots credit. The greatest name makers of of any writers ever, name John. The, uh, the names of characters. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. John Sylvain. What was Sam Neill's character's name? I think name? it was Jake Sylvain, but yeah. No, it was, it was Jack Sylvain. Jack Sylvain. Yeah, because it was, what? Emerson Hauser. Emerson, Emerson Hauser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hen from Lost, Henry Gale, <laughs> yeah. Sawyer. Like they're like they're awesome, and they all like feel right to those. Yeah, like, yeah, Sylvain yeah, yeah. feels like a. a a uh, criminal from the 60s, Sylvain? I mean, yeah. like, come on. But who thinks of it? Who thinks of, like, the, the names of Those writers. I know. I could probably great. pull up on the IMDb names of people. Yeah. Uh, who name people? 
Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I, w I was really excited about it. Unlike Jeff, I kind of had the opposite reaction, which was I felt sort of like it was like putting on an old pair of pants. It was like, <laughs> by God, I know exactly what I'm going to get every week, and I'm so excited to get it. Uh, for me, I was like, wow, that's, a, that's so great. And especially because I was like, you know, there's... The, I can't say that without spoiling stuff. Yeah, um, that's, but it, that's, that's it got, why I'm having a problem. Yeah, but it yeah. got, um, it was, uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm very excited yeah. to, to get into the trope. I think it's okay to I'm very excited to get into the trope. Say some of those um, things. But, uh, you can say some uh, of those things. Uh, no, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking because that is definitely a spoiler. But I will say, um, so I really enjoyed that I could sort of see the series. There was something comforting in that, knowing especially uh, coming off of something like Lost, which is sort of the the only real sort of what the F is happening show that I have s since watched a lot of. There were a lot of others in between that I just couldn't keep my interest. Um, so everything still is measured up to that uh, that series. And what is so comforting is now it's not just, oh my God, I have no idea what the next episode is even going to be structurally like. Uh, and then go in and then sometimes be disappointed, sometimes be sort of happy. Now I get to go, okay, I know what's what's going to happen as sort of the, the bones of it, but there's going to be all this crazy stuff, just like you said, some of the stuff that was happening towards the end of this episode could have been things that happened at the end of this season, end of the series. You know what I mean? Yeah. They felt the like beginning of the last season, which which comforts me in feeling like, you know, if episode two and episode three have the same sort of ga gong 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 things, or dun -dun. It, it could yeah. be really good. And even like, even just a little, like Jack Sylvain, young, he, he, he shows up in the beginning of the, this, the pilot, and yeah. he's young, and he yeah. was a prisoner in the 60s, and he's still the same age in 2000 whenever. Though there's a telephone booth, which is not <laughs> present day at all. But, but, um, well, but like that could have been, but then they're like, I wonder though, I wonder. There's still they're telephone still booths still in the streets in San Francisco. It's, it, but um, it's like, past you could have, they, and then he like sees someone from his time period that he knows that is old. Like you could have opened the show with like the old, and they're looking for the killer of this person. Yeah. And they don't know who it is, and oh, he was on, he was on Alcatraz, so he, they're looking for an old guy. They find and a print. The of end, guy who and died, then the yeah. end of the episode is, and he's still our age. We'd be like, holy crap! These, like, they but didn't that was age my big, that was my big issue. And then they don't that, tell you until the yeah, end of the season. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No one ever comments on that. No one ever goes. Hold the phone, everybody. I, I agree. There was There's weird. No, that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. yeah, they were like, they're just sort of like, yep, that's him. No, she, no like, but she does say like, yeah. she says at one point like, and the it's weird that he's like, why is he young? You know, like what to like the, but like it's not. Why like, would you it's ever not like? Wait a second, guys. Yeah, I just oh, saw a gold <laughs> cat. Yeah. yeah, solid gold cat. Yeah. Exactly. Stopped in the middle of the road, looked at me, and said, "What's up?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Somebody should have. I mean, you. What if you saw that? You'd be like, "Wow, his must be his son or right. grandson who yeah. looks exactly there like it." A, a but it's like, Harry no, that's him. Uh, it's like, and it definitely is him because supernatural shit evidently and that, happens. And that could have even been the first. It could have been like we're following the son of the guy the whole time. Then you realize it's not the son of the guy. Yeah. It's the guy. Yeah. But By the way, again, I'm not saying that would have been better. It no, was no, 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 no. That that's how they did it. And it, but it, it did seem been, like it was weird that no one reacted. It did seem like a show that was starting out of the gate going. It's every five pages there's a, this is what's happening and it's crazy shit. And yeah. that is a little scary at times because you're like, eh, you can't really keep that up. I, I want to be hoodwinked a bit in my shows. Uh, not, it, not tons of hoodwinking, although the end I thought was really cool where I was like, burp, burp. And it's, it's somewhat comforting in that there's no, I, I would be shocked if they, unlike Lost, like have those crazy things that like it's figured out. Right. So that's yeah. sort of like, like your party was like, you know, how do you? I'm like, how do you resolve that? But they logically? know. You can't. You they can't, have to know. Yeah, come on, they you have can't to know. go in and pitch a show At like this that point, without saying loss, what it is. You have to know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Alcatraz you don't, you don't Tuesday nights on that. Fox. <laughs> Not trust it. Check it out.
All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, we want to thank our sponsors, Jeff Kanata. Our sponsor is mm. Audible.com, the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. I've heard that. I love reading for pleasure. I think more people should do it. It is something that enriches my life, and I treasure. And I'm glad that I have Audible.com around because they've got over 100,000 titles to choose from from any possible category. Mm -hmm. I can load a book up right on my iPod or MP3 player, and then while I'm exercising or doing chores or housework or whatever I need mm -hmm. to do, I get to enjoy some reading for pleasure. We can hook you up with a free audiobook by going to audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad. That way you can get started and un understand why I dig this so much. I really honestly do. I just finished, um, I talked to you guys a, a lot about finishing... Um, um, Ready Player One, yeah. uh, which is, if you watch the show, you're going to enjoy <laughs> that book. It just, it, you are. It's about the 80s. It's a love letter to the 80s. Hmm. Uh, there's lots of great audiobooks. Get ready for The Hobbit. It's coming out next year. You saw the trailer. We're all freaking out. Why not listen to The Hobbit? Go to audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad and sign up. Boom. All right, people. We will see you again in the future. Join us tomorrow for our review of Trine 2. Today's Twitter question comes to us from at Mike Gonzalez. If given the ability to either speak every language fluently or play every instrument skillfully, which do you choose? No question at all, languages. Really? I, I think it would be the most magical thing in the world to be able to converse in any language. That would be a fantasy come true. I, hmm. On my bucket list is to learn another language. I desperately want to. I want to spend some time doing that. I think I think la I love language, as you yeah. know, and I, I, I think it's amazing to be able to talk to anyone on the planet. Daniel? I first thought that this was one of the hardest questions we've been given because the idea that you could speak every language yeah. fully insane, and then the idea that you could speak every I mean, they're both like, what? But then I realized, it's, the question comes down to, like, what? if I can speak every language, the practicality of it, mm -hmm. the, the putting into practice. Speaking every language means I can go anywhere I want and be at home, and it opens up relationships uh, to people. But you can, I can. But you know what else opens up relationships? Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but, but you oh also. I'm pretty pimp to go into somebody's house who like, it rocks the clarinet and you're like, oh yeah, I know a little clarinet. But, <laughs> But, uh, but, but no, but, but, but music, but Wait. to be able to play any, any, you yeah. know, just one instrument but skillfully. all of them. For the rest, but, but all of them, but even just one means I, it, it, I mean, the joy and the happiness that would bring, speaking a language would not bring that, the, th the language opens up doors to bring that, but it doesn't do it itself, and I can be by my, we all die alone, folks. You know, and I, I think about like, what would be helpful if you I don't like, want to say the word maybe. death in 37 lost, Although, if I lost, if I no, was Dan, like, Dan, you're paralyzed. Correct. The, the and, correct and answer the, is play every instrument. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>